Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Takaratomi's Transformers Animated Autobot Jazz. Yeah, TA-29, Autobot Jazz, sorry. Here's the front of the box. So this is the Japanese version. Not nearly clean as white as I ha it should be. You got the little Autobot symbol in the back. The traditional Megatron Optimus Prime, and it says it's a transformation level three. It really isn't. It's really easy. Uh, I'm surprised. I guess animated, they're not complicated transformation. And I just absolutely love the hyper realistic scenes, <laughs> like hanging out, like you're hanging out in downtown Tokyo or something. Neon lights, and yeah, he's just pimping. I just love the exhaust, the laser, what do you call it, the laser nunchucks, and he does have light piping, which I'll show. Transformation is really easy. I really like this. So that's the back of the box. Bottom of the box is just the traditional stuff. Can't read. Side. E easy. Let's go ahead and take a look. I do like. Uh, I do like this guy. It, he just looks great. And maybe I shouldn't be pounding that. And that's one thing you'll notice is the nunchucks do pop pop easy. But I just like the detail on that. I like the exhaust pipes. Just slip them right back on. I like how they cover that. It does cover a lot of the detail or the it the mo well, not the the transformation lines. It it hides it so well that it looks really sharp. I like the silver on the wheels. The paint apps is normal, very sparse, which I'm not a big fan. I wish they would have put a like a four or something to break up all this white. I like the G1 homage. I like the Elite Guard in the front. And I'm a big fan. Let's see if I can do that. It's not, it's translucent, so I like the translucent headlights. Good, good detail. I just wish they had more molding. You got molding on the door handles. I love the, uh, they weren't needed, but I, I love the detailing on the rear view mirrors. Color's pretty good. I wish they would kind of broke it up a little bit. The tailpipes on the back hides the robot extras really well. I like the red, I like that molding. I wish it had more molding, but let's face it animated was known for being sparse in this detail All right. so and you can see the guy is a shell former there's no doubt but he, they do it really well grill in the front good detailing we should had more molding something more color something to break it up paint apps but as it is is really good and I'll just really dig those exhaust point exhaust ports exhaust pipes whatever you want to call it Seven, seven, yeah, seven and a half out of ten. I had to think about that. I wish more color would have made it pop. Something. All right. Transformation is really easy. Oh, by the way, it, it, it rolls. It, that, that's all it does. Nothing special. Oh, these darn nunchucks. They hate these things. But they're, they're stored really well. I, I really like how it conceals all the transformation panels. So, transformation. You're going to pop this out. Pretty sure I'm gonna, the nunchucks are gonna fly out anyway. So we're gonna pop this out. These are the legs. These panels right here, might as well. Because those are the knee points. And we just move that down. Feet are right here. Pop that back. I wish it had some kind of heel spur. And anime, the animated line was so sparse in that. Arms, yep, it was bound to happen. Nunchuck fell out. Pop that out. These wheels rotate at a 45 degree angle. Pop the bonnet down until it clicks. And a very satisfying click. I like that. So we're going to move the shoulders into position. Move that down. Wrists pop back out. Same thing. Shoulder into position. Move the wrists out. And that is it very basic transformation and it is up to you if you want to leave the doors like here but they do have the option of turning it around if they want a cleaner look I prefer it that way but the nunchucks as you can see are just stored right there so you can keep them there they got two pairs of nunchucks which I really dig oh while while I got it got really decent light piping there we go yeah Sweet. Yeah, you gotta pardon my neighbor's dog. 
it is what it is. I like that saying. No problem. That's what this looks like. Really neat. Articulation wise, ball jointed shoulder, so you got that. I do the bonnet, however, it, while it clicks, it doesn't tab anywhere, so it's really basic in its design. Shoulder joint right here, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, which I really dig. Good articulation. Ball jointed wrist, so it does rotate. I, I like that the arms are open, so this is definitely a plus. Does have a waist swivel. Didn't need it, but it put it in there, so good. You can get them in decent poses. I just don't like how big the feet are. Or not the feet, but the fact that his legs are out of proportion. Like the upper part is really small compared to the lower part. Lengthwise, that is. Ball joints on the waist. Thigh swivel. And a knee. Knee joint and a little ball. And it's not kind of, it's just more, more of a hinge on the toe so it's not bad not bad at all one thing i do like is the nunchucks right here they do fit nicely so there we go all we have to do is just slip them in and he's ready to roll yeah again wish the bonnet clicked in tapped into something but it's not bad one thing I forgot to mention is also it got a few extras. You got this nice little battle scene over here with Ultra Magnus and Megatron. These are the deluxe classes and you can see how many toys you had back in the line. Not as neat as the toys we had before. That's the Elite Guard as you can see, even that imposter Bumblebee. In the back you can see what it has, the tech specs, not bad, black and white. G1, and that's what the number four came from, so I wish it had more applications like that. Okay, and the Pixar, I did a review on this guy, remember him? Buzz Lightyear. And there's Jazz from, oh yeah, RA32, that's kind of rare. He didn't come released here. Also has this little arcade card, so you can use this little whatever this is. <laughs> there's a the tech specs again. So you get a cool card and you can use them in the arcade. Came came with instructions too, which is really simple instructions, not, not a big deal. Easy day. Size comparison. There he is with Megatron. Not a bad little figure. I, I wish he had more paint apps. This is the only thing. It looks okay. He definitely has a great look. A little quality assurance issues right here. The nunchucks are definitely an added touch to the laser nunchucks. Overall, not a bad figure. More paint apps would have made this guy awesome. Slightly taller than Megatron there. Give him another 7.5 out of 10. Alright, YouTuber, that's all I got. And I'll catch you all next time.